I'm all about I do this shit for the love of women and country. And you're watching out today. The last two years, everything has changed, honestly. At that time, I couldn't play the guitar. I wasn't playing the guitar at that time. I was just basically rapping and producing and everything. But then I started playing the guitar in December 2018. And that picking up this shit changed my entire view of music. As I, look, as I started discovering artists that I didn't even know, sounds I didn't even know about, ways to make music, new and different approaches just because I was playing an instrument now and I understood deeper how things actually work. So like my music recently has been more deliberate and more conscious. Like The last song I put out was called Jalo and that was basically talking about the current state of Nigeria and how everybody you speak to wants to leave you're looking for an out and it, there's no respite there's nothing to tell every tell anybody like you don't have a good reason to get anybody to stay because when you hear their complaints is resonating with you and you're thinking yeah but you don't want to believe that that's the end because if nobody is willing to fix the country then it means that like what truly do it that's basically the message of that like my music is is always conscious to a point it could be like because it's everything is usually what I'm going through, what things relating to me. But like on this, why I'm calling it conscious now is because on it's relating to more people on a larger scale. It's not just my own personal experiences. It's things that everybody could understand. But I don't know if it's going to go that way because I don't. I can't even t say, oh yeah, this is what it's going to be. Because like my sound changes over time continuously. I don't think it's something I can help. I've tried to like now. I'm trying to make like deliberately make an album that sounds one way but it's been difficult because I'm more used to putting myself in the box and trying to go through go down one path but now I've given myself some more room I'm deciding that I'm going to infuse more of like how my music used to sound before or what it sounds now so to have like a broader spectrum when I was deciding to play guitar the first guitar that I was playing like was Tony's guitar. He had it. He had it in. His, I was in my. It was this apartment. That, um, a couple of people were staying. He had the guitar there, and when I was trying to figure out what was going, on, I was the first person to explain like what the guitar how it works to me before I actually bought my own guitar and decided that I was going to play the guitar. Well, production is really weird for me because like I produce. Uh, I like to produce most of my stuff and producers i don't know like producers that i do that you before you meet them actually they're usually just wet for some reason i don't understand why and for me to break the barrier where i actually meet a producer that i want to work with is really difficult for me because like after i've heard something that i know i can't do on my on my own or something that is different from what i'm doing because when you when you ask for beats people just send you what they think is you and it's usually far off they usually send you beats that you can produce by yourself or beats that you would have loved like three years ago that they made off some songs that you made three years ago it's, it's difficult for me but then there's Banky Shad, there's Banky on the beats, there's Lion Beats there are a couple of people that I have been working with but like for new new producers I'm still looking for who do I want to work with? I'm Lady Donnelly first of all because like I like where her mind is at musically and like I had it on my last single, like I like, and Briss. I like the way Briss. I like the way Briss goes about. <laughs> he's, he's very straightforward and he's super talented. It's just always, it's always, always fun to have Briss in the studio. And Tommy Thomas, obviously. Um, Mojo, yeah. This is a song I've, I've, I have, I've been saving for Mojo. It's up to me to <laughs> put everything together. Yeah, I just got a new manager and everything. New management, new structure. So hopefully everything should start working out the way it should. Because for the last forever, actually, I've been doing everything on my own. And I can't, I don't, I don't know how to hack the tour thing. And it's something I really want to do. Because like I said, like performing is like one of my strong suits. It's something I need to capitalize on. I don't know. 
maybe at some point obviously i'll cut it but like maybe i won't i don't know if i start if it starts looking weird like <laughs> start balding then i'll obviously have to cut it but yeah nah it's just looking scanty then i'll probably have to like bulk up and cut the shit yeah. go for a new look uh lady dummy <laughs> She's she's campaigning already, so vice president deal. <laughs> I feel like it'll f it up, so yeah. Okay, f okay, first people I know, they'll be fashion or they'll be Tommy Thomas. They'll be is in I'm um, Lady Donnelly. Don't myself, obviously. <laughs> How many people are we allowed? Yet? Okay, I've done four now. I mean. Okay, one more person. One more person. Maybe Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah. I mean, I love everybody's music, but there's some people that once they put out something, just hurry into it. Because you meet musicians and from afar when when you don't know them everything is so astonishing to you like okay this guy is so great but then there are some musicians that you get to know in person and everything becomes plain but like these, most of these guys i'm talking about you I, you meet them you know them personally but they still astonish you every single time yeah. still so that's that's the level of respect that makes me want to yeah i don't know i don't know like this one project because like this is like Okay, so from last year, there's Friday of the Bride, the Vampire Weekend, there's, um, there's Hosea's, Hosea, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I always say Hosea, he's the Wasteland Baby, there's, there's an old album that my um, TMT sent to me called Graceland, Paul Simon's Graceland, uh, and Sharon Kuti's Black Times. Whiskey's first album. I don't know, he's not Star Boy. Why you fail? <laughs> Is there another one? Oh, Super Shit. <laughs> True, it's actually Super Star. It's spelled Jewelry. J E W E. Shit. <laughs> L R Y. Yeah. 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 It's two L's in jewelry. Wow. 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 Bro, yeah, I've been doing autocorrect. I've been doing autocorrect for like five years. Autocorrect has been saving guys for like five years. I don't think anybody knows how to spell anymore. The Alternative Network.